Now this is the GUI of the 3D Inverse Design software Turbo Design 1 which we will use to like blade for our centrifugal pump impeller and uh, we start by loading the file, input file that was exported from T3, the mainline code just like that and once that's done you will see that all of these different settings have been automatically imported into TD1 and uh, following a top-down approach in this main tree we start with the specifications where we can see that all of these different values for the loop duty point uh, and the uh, and the properties have been pre-filled by the TD3 file and the next section actually is meridional design so you can see this meridional shape this has automatically come from TD3 and uh, we can also see that there is a grid that was automatically generated for the blade and um, now one thing to note is although this grid is two dimensional but this third dimension is actually solved using Fourier series so even though this is going to be a 3D solution but it's still going to be very fast as this is still a two dimensional grid the next section is thickness and here we have different types of thicknesses available like normal or tangential and in terms of distribution again we have like constant we have control, control points and in this case we are going for a knockoff profile distribution which we can see here at, at the hub and the trough separately now blockage is something we use only in transonic cases with significant boundary layer blockage and that we can skip for this case the next section is blade loading and this is actually the most important input for inverse design method and uh, this actually consists of two different components so the first one is the span wise work distribution and the second is the stream wise work distribution if we start with the span wise distribution what we can see here is the span wise swirl at the leading edge from the hub to shroud and the green line is the span wise swirl at the trailing edge from the hub to shroud and uh, while you can see that at the leading edge we have zero swirl meaning that the flow is purely axial at the leading edge at the trailing edge we have a free vortex distribution which is a non-zero value a constant value from hub to shroud and uh, of course with inverse design the advantage is that you can also specify a, a forced vortex sort of a distribution at the trailing edge to, to make your design fully three-dimensional and uh, once we have fixed this uh, sort of work coefficient for our impeller, impeller blade, uh, what this means is that any design coming out of Turbo Design 1 now will satisfy our duty point requirements or the uh, stage head requirements. Now, uh, the next step is actually to specify how the loading will change from the leading edge to the trailing edge at the hub and the shroud sections. And uh, this is where the stream wise loading comes into picture, which we are seeing here and uh, what we have done in this case is this is a mid-loaded sort of distribution that you see here at both the hub and the shroud sections but we can easily change these parameters to uh, to make it uh, either a four loaded distribution at the hub as we can see here uh, the loading is higher at the uh, leading edge compared to the trailing edge or we can make it an arc loaded distribution as easily as that but for this present baseline case we will be using a, a mid-loaded distribution at both the hub and the shroud the next section is actually stacking and stacking is uh, the wrap or lean of the blade and this is what we actually specify as a trailing edge for uh, usually for pump impeller cases and uh, for now we are going for a zero stacking so it means that the lean is zero at the hub and the shroud but we can always specify a non-zero value to make the shroud to be leading the hub or lagging the hub in the direction of rotation but uh, as we said uh, for this baseline impeller case we will keep these to uh, the stacking to zero or radial for this case and once these these inputs have been specified all we need to then do is click run over here and then very quickly as we can see in less than five seconds we have the uh, design for our baseline impeller and uh, we can actually specify them some uh, we can actually create some post-processing plots so if we, we start with the with the three-dimensional plot with all the different blades they are now visible here and we can actually activate the hub and now we have a clear view of the impeller 
and then we have also the option to create some 2D plots just like that for example the static pressure distribution at the hub and shroud sections something like this and we can see that in this even in this baseline impeller we have a very smooth distribution of static pressure or the blue loading uh, throughout the throughout the blade surface and then finally if we come to the project manager window we can see that this first case has appeared over here and we also have several performance parameters and uh, also some geometry parameters which we can actually see to evaluate our baseline design and then we can select some parameters of interest in this case it would be secondary flows profile loss the minimum pressure which is an indicator of the possibility of cavitation and uh, the throat area of course is important and then the max lean angle which is important for stresses and so we can choose to see only the selected uh, performance parameters and um, this, this is what helps us to evaluate the baseline design and compare it after it has been optimized.